Welcome to level one lesson two. My name is Ria the Trader from TradingWing.net. In this lesson, you will learn a bit about brokers and account types. So let's get started. What exactly is a broker? Stock brokers, better known as brokers, provide you the ability to purchase shares of a publicly traded company listed on a stock exchange. So why must you use a broker? Stock exchanges exclusively provide access to their members, and brokers fall under the category of members. So by opening a brokerage account, you will now have access to these stock exchanges, as those stock exchanges now consider you a member. Obviously, you benefit from this, but how does a broker benefit from you opening an account? Well, there are two different ways that they may benefit. And there are two different broker types. There are brokers that charge a commission for every transaction you make, but there are also brokers known as zero commission brokers. Let's start with the first one. There are three different ways a commission broker may make money. The first way is that they will charge a percentage of your transaction's value. The second way is that they may charge you a flat fee for every transaction you make. And finally, they may charge you a combination of both. The second broker type is a zero commission broker. How do they make money if they do not charge you commission? The less common way they make money is by marking up the price of the publicly traded company. For example, if the company shares are selling at $1, your broker may sell it to you for $1.01, taking that one cent profit. This is problematic, however, as it causes an increase in spread, which is the difference in buying and selling prices. The more common way zero commission brokers make money is through their additional services. For example, if one was to become a foreign exchange trader, then they would have to pay monthly fees to have access to the Forex market. Now that you know a little bit more about brokers, it's important to know the account types as you will be opening an account with these brokers. There are two different account types. The first type is a cash account. and The second type is a margin account. Margin accounts have two categories. A pattern day trader account, exclusive to US residents only, and non-PDT accounts or non-pattern day trader accounts. So let's get started with the cash accounts. What exactly is a cash account? A cash account means the money that you have is the money that you use. There is no such leveraging and you cannot borrow any funds or any shares from your broker. If you don't understand exactly what that means, you will get a better understanding in later lessons. With cash accounts, you have limited trading ability, which means you typically cannot trade options. However, that does depend on the broker. I have personally seen some brokers allow options trading on cash accounts. And second, there is no shorting abilities with cash accounts, which means you can only bet on a company's price going up and not on a company's price going down. Cash accounts also fall into two categories. There are US cash accounts or United States cash accounts versus other countries. With United States cash accounts, you must wait two trading days for funds to settle following a transaction you make. If your settled funds run out, you cannot trade more until you either add more funds or until your funds are settled. So for example, if you had $1,000 in your account and you traded with $500 and made a profit, you must wait two trading days in order to be able to use that profit, including the initial $500 investment, again. Now let's look at margin accounts. With margin accounts, 
the money you have is the money you can use, similarly to a cash account. However, you can also borrow funds and leverage with your broker for a small interest charge. You do not have to wait for your funds to settle with a margin account. And finally, there is no limited trading ability, which means you can trade options and you can short a publicly traded company, which means betting on the price going down. There is, however, a difference between U.S. margin accounts and other countries' margin accounts. In the United States, if your account is under $25,000 U.S. dollars, you are limited to three day trades per week. This is known as the Pattern Day Trader Rule, or the PDT Rule. If your account is over $25,000 U.S. dollars, you can trade as much as you'd like. Now let me go one step back and explain what this PDT rule is. If you are limited to three day trades a week, which means purchasing a stock and selling it within the same trading day, it does not reset every week. The way it works is as follows. If you bought and sold a stock on Monday, and then you bought and sold a stock on Wednesday, and finally you bought and sold a stock on Friday. On the following Monday, you will not receive three new day trades. In fact, you will only receive one, as it takes one whole trading week in order to receive your day trade back. So that means on Monday, you will receive one day trade. On Wednesday, you will receive another. And on Friday, you will receive the last one. If, however, you made all three day trades on Monday, on the following Monday, you will receive all three day trades back. And that concludes this lesson.